My name is Antonio Newton, your local realtor with the Newton Group at Coldwell Banker. And today I have a special guest. My beautiful mother. Hello, everybody. Wow. This is my wonderful son, the best realtor you could wow. ever have. Give him a call. There you go. I don't even need to say anything else. How can you not listen to her? Wow. But let's jump into today's episode. So today we're talking about Northeast Market Stats. That's zip codes 29223, 29229, 29016, and the Richland County portion of Elgin 29045. Now, once again, these are only single family residential homes. So no town homes, patio homes, condos, or anything like that. Just single family residential stick build homes. So let's jump right into today's market stats. Before we dive right into today's content, please don't forget that you can check out all of our YouTube videos on our YouTube channel at Antonio Newton Realtor. There you will find all of our market stats video. You'll find our Time to Talk Tuesday episodes, which deal with issues that buyers or sellers or investors may be having in the marketplace. We have our interview series after coffee with his interview on business owners, as well as real estate professionals, whether it be lawyers, home inspectors, lenders. And then of course we have home of the day and other Facebook content as well. So don't forget to make sure you like it and hit that bell. So that way you get notified anytime we put new video content out there and please share. We create this video. So the public knows what's going on from a local expert. So please, if you got somebody that work or, or, uh, you know, a family member or a friend or somebody maybe at church that you go to that can relate or would benefit from this information, please share it with them. That's what it's there for. And that's why we make the content free. So thank you so much. I also like to take this time to thank our sponsors, Better Way Properties, as well as Columbia Northeast Home Show.com. Thank you for your sponsorship. So let's jump right into the market stats. So, you know, it was highly anticipated that there was a slowdown coming. And if you've been listening or if I've had the pleasure of speaking with you, we anticipated that with uh, kids going back to school in August, that there was going to be a little bit of a slowdown in the market. But it's not about what I say. It's not about what I think or anybody else, but it's really about what the data is telling us. And we use that to make our decisions and look for opportunities. So let's dive right into the data. So for Northeast Columbia, we were down just a little bit. Um, I'm sorry, we were up a little bit in terms of closed transactions for the month. We were at 304 compared to 289 last year. So that was up 5%. So just a little bit better than what we did last year. Um, when we look at home prices, home prices are still continuing to rise. Last year, the average sales price was $241,461. This year is up 13% to $273,405. So that's a big increase. That's why we've been encouraging people with the, with the low rates to go ahead and purchase because you can ride this wave up. Now, we know there'll be a market correction. Everybody knows that. But you've already built some equity in the home already. As mentioned, the average appreciation throughout a year is anywhere between 3 to 6 Some say 3 to 7%. We're at 3% for where, or 13% in one year. So we've doubled that. And then whenever you look at the available inventory that we have or the new listings coming to the market, it was at 671 versus what it was last year at 770. So that's a 13 percent decrease. So inventory is still down. And of course, remember, even last year it was down. So now we're even down more 13 percent. But the telltale factor on if the market is slowing down or not are two key things, how fast homes are selling and at what price they're selling for. So when you look at August of 2020, the average days on the market was 57. That's less than two months. That's not bad. You know, six months worth of inventory is a balanced market and things were selling in less than two months last year, just to give you a perspective of how fast things are moving. And the average sales price, I meant the average, uh, the list of sales price ratio rather, excuse me, was 99.27%. So last year, homeowners were getting practically full price and things were selling in less than two months. But what is it doing this year? Average days on the market, 
15. 15 days on the market. Sometimes you can't even, I called to get my car repaired and they said they were booked until September 13th. So when you think about that, to be able to have the average days on the market be 15 is completely tremendous. It shows you how fast things are moving. Average list price to sales price is 101.18%. So things are selling for over list price. But how is that trending to what we were doing compared to July, which was last month? So in July, the average days on the market, I don't know if you remember, was 13. So now in August, they're sitting on the market two days longer. A little bit of a slowdown. Also, the average or, or the sale price, the list, the list price to sell price ratio last month for July was 101.62. This month, 101.18. So things are selling for not quite as much. And things are selling a little bit slower. So as I mentioned before, it's like instead of having a line around the block and around the corner, now the line is down the driveway. Still a very aggressive seller's market. Still as homeowners are priced right, they're flying off the shelf. But you may not be having 17 offers competing. Now you may be having 12. But it's still a very competitive market. So what does this mean for you? Well, it depends. Are you a buyer or a seller? Or are you both? Do you want to buy and sell? Whichever you are, whatever your position, there are things to do. Don't think that this is too daunting or too overwhelming of a task. That's why local professionals like myself and my team are geared with, uh, with, with tips and techniques and strategies to help navigate you through this marketplace, as challenging as it may be. So have a call. Let's talk. Let's have a meeting. Let's see if there's anything we can do to help you, whether it be finding inventory or off-market properties or either just putting you in the best position where you're at. And maybe now is not the time for you to make a move. Maybe now is not the best time for you to sell or buy. But let's make sure we put you in a position, whatever that position is, for you and your family to be successful. So if there's anything that we can do, please give us a call. If you want to know about your specific zip code, if you want to know about your specific community or area, we'd be more than happy to gather that data for you. Or we can do a free market evaluation, no obligation of your specific property, and give you a range that we can sell it for. So until next time, thank you so much for watching, or if you're listening on our podcast station, thank you so much, and stay safe.